Hello, welcome back to the channel. So you're on a session and things are happening fast, like people are moving in from light to shadow or the sun's going in and out of the clouds. This is a really common thing to happen at weddings where everything is happening fast. People are moving, lights changing. You're struggling to keep up with exposure. You wanna do a really great exposure, but things are happening really fast. Well, there's a way to do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video, and all you have to do is beware of the one catch that can get you that I'll explain at the end. What you need to do is shoot in what's called aperture priority mode and let that fancy camera do the work for you. Aperture priority mode means you set the f-stop and tell the camera to find a way to make an exposure that works with that f-stop. That's really what's happening. But what that allows you to do is concentrate on just shooting your images instead of constantly manipulating the exposure yourself. It's an automatic, or some photographers call it a semi-automatic mode. You set the one variable that's important to you, aperture or f-stop, and the camera will come up with an exposure solution on the fly instantly. What you give up with this, of course, is control of the shutter speed. Modern DSLR or mirrorless cameras have quite a few automatic modes and it varies by brand. But what we're working on in this video is to give you the ability to control your exposure, but to just do it faster. So you, in order to do that, one of the easiest ways is to let the camera do some of the work for you. Okay, so let's walk through how to use aperture priority mode. First, set your camera to aperture priority, and once you're in aperture priority, set an ISO that seems reasonable for wherever you're shooting. Depending on how much experience you have, this might be a guess, it might be a, a ballpark estimate, whatever. Just, to, just for this example, just set an ISO. Now, once you're in aperture priority mode and you have an ISO, choose a subject, line it up, let the camera do a light reading, and take your exposure. What you will get is an exposure at the f-stop you have set and at the shutter speed the camera has come up with to create proper exposure. That's it, that's aperture priority mode. Now, as you can see, the reason this mode is so fast is because as fast as you can point the camera and expose, the camera is coming up with shutter speed solutions to give you proper exposure. You no longer have to think about it. You know the exposure will be right. So aperture priority mode is extremely fast. And it also makes sure that your depth of field that you set with your f-stop is always correct. Okay, so here's the catch. The catch is because the camera is setting the shutter speed, it may or may not be a good shutter speed for the situation that you're shooting. For instance, if you're in a very low light situation and your ISO might not be set high enough, meaning the camera needs a very slow shutter speed, if you have people moving in and out of your frame very quickly, you may get blurred. So the catch is you have to be aware or at least monitor which the camera will show you, what your shutter speed is to make sure that it's in an acceptable range. If you are using flash, the shutter speed cannot exceed the sync speed of your flash, which is usually in the 125th to 225 range for most cameras. So, for instance, if you're in a very bright situation and your camera needs a shutter speed of 1 500th to work, you don't have flash sync. And your camera will probably warn you in some way, but again, this is the gotcha of aperture priority. You have to pay attention to the shutter speed. So you can't abandon thinking, you just, when you set the ISO, if you can do it in such a way that it, it allows the shutter speed to stay within a good range for what you're doing, you're golden. That's the experience point you need to shoot with aperture priority. My suggestion would be to practice in this mode. 
take your camera and, and put it in different lighting conditions and work with the ISO setting and watch what it does with shutter speed. My explanation of it is a lot more difficult to do than it is to actually do this. Once you do this a few times, you're going to find this is darn easy and it's why I like to use aperture priority in fast changing conditions. Because as long as I can put a reasonable guess on the ISO, I'm golden. The shutter speed will fall within a range. Yes, it needs practice. Yes, you, you can't just go to sleep and, and the camera will do it for you. But if you're watching this video and follow my channel, you're probably trying to improve your photography not have the camera do all the work for you. If you want to learn more about exposure, I've got some links that I've talked a lot about exposure in various detail. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear about it. And if you have questions or comments on it, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Hey, until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Cheers.